Hey, I'm sure you're really excited that spring has sprung. I mean, no matter where you live, I'm sure you've had some warm weather to, to one degree or another over the last few weeks. And I know what happens is as we go into from spring into summer, we tend to get busier, don't we? Because we want to take advantage of the weather and having fun, and, and that's totally cool. It's, it's legitimate. I think even as, as kids, we're kind of programmed to take the summer off and many things, even though we kind of find that our plates uh, get more and more full of things that we do. And today, what I want to talk about in business and in sales and in life, really, is, is being productive in times when we seem busy. And just because we are busy doesn't mean that we're being productive, right? I mean, they're not the same thing. Uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson has a quote along the lines of, uh, it's not enough to be uh, busy, so too are the ants. The question is, what are you busy about? I mean, what, bit, what are you busy about doing? See, this, this leads me to an exercise that I took upon myself uh, several times over the last, uh, I'd say, 15 years. And, and the exercise is this. I would actually take a pad of paper and, and travel with it, uh, and I would write down everything I did and how long it took me. Everything. I did this for, for a week, and then I'd sit down and reassess it and look at it. Uh, I think if you did the same thing, you'd be surprised. You know, really. You know, what parts of your life are you really being productive? There's only so many elements, right, and especially in business, that you can utilize to grow your business. If you're in sales, it's going to be things like uh, contacting uh, new potential prospects, uh, booking new meetings. Uh, it could be uh, having those meetings, doing follow-ups to people that you've already met with, servicing accounts. There's only certain things that are actually going to grow the customer, right? And there's a lot of things that we do that don't grow the customer. So this week, I challenge you to do this. Grab If you haven't done this, you know, be open-minded enough to do it. I mean, because really, let me ask you a question. Are you getting all the results you want? If you're not getting all the results you want, then maybe this is the time to take some action. So grab a pad of paper. Go, go pick up a pad of paper or grab one from your office and, 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 and keep it with you. Write down everything you do. And what you're looking for are, are, are two to three time traps. Three things right now, maybe in your life, that you're doing that you need to do less of. We need to stop doing altogether. Then also three things that are productivity areas of productivity that you need to be spending more time on. And then so, you know, and you know that if you're going to start doing something new, you got to stop doing something old. We're all filling all 24 hours in a day. You have 24 hours a day, and I have 24 hours a day. We're utilizing the 24 hours a day. But the question is, how are you using that time? Use this tool this week and make yourself more productive. And, and hey, share it below. Um, there's some comment box. Come back after you do this exercise and leave some comments on what it is specifically that you identified and what you changed as we grow more productive together.